Hello, this is LVX Magic. I am making you guys a little tutorial about how to add collision and rebuild collision for your objects that you happen to put into Skyrim. Um, this is quite an advanced tutorial, and at least in my opinion, uh, uh, that you should know how to work your way around the creation kit should know how to use NIF scope. Uh, there's other tutorials out there that'll show you this stuff. But I'm gonna go in and uh, show you a little something that I discovered today. It's taken me probably like the last three days of trial and error and frustration. But I came up with the system finally to figure out how to do this. Now, I set a minute, set up an example of a ES .esp for you and i'm going to base this off of a mammoth uh i build other mods i have another mod out called campfire unleashed feel free to check it out i'm sure you'll see it in my videos i got a lot of uh, uh miscellaneous videos on alphas and stuff like that but anyways i put a, a mammoth inside my my mod because I thought it was cool I have a it's in a placement uh, mod I'm able to place furniture and all this other kinds of stuff and there's certain objects in the game that Bethesda never decided to add collision to um, collision if you don't know what that is you should because that's why you're watching the video but if you don't you just walk through it there's no hitbox there's no noise that comes from it when you hit it just a plain, just a plain uh, 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 um, texture. And so, let's get started. There's a few things that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a few programs before we get into this. You're going to need a file that is very rare, and I, I have the the Google Drive for it. So if you can get this, I would get it now for some whatever reason. It's been taken down multiple times because um, I don't know if Bethesda doesn't want you messing around with certain stuff in their things. I have no root. I have no idea. The only other place you can find this is GitHub, but it doesn't have an EXE, and you're not able to use it. So this is the usable EXE version that I'll leave in the description. The next one is NIF Optimizer. You're going to have to do all your work uh, in LE version of uh, Skyrim. I personally do all my mods in SE, which after you're done optimizing them to LE and finishing our little exper experiment here, um, you can switch it back to SE. And then finally, it's NIF scope. You should have some knowledge about NIF scope and the trees and the uh, the different shapes and the, and the 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 lineup of how objects work in NIF scope. I'm not an expert. I've really only recently started getting into NIF scope, and um, I wanted to share this. By the way, you feel free to hop around in this tutorial. Uh, I if you find some of the stuff that you already know, there might be little bits and pieces here and there that you might not. So feel free to hop around. So I'm going to start from the beginning. I made an ESP, test ESP. And I named it Mammoth, test Mammoth. Okay, test mammoth. So I created a recipe for the mammoth. There's no ingredients, you just make it at the forge. I made an activator, just mammoth. There's no models yet, I, I'm gonna show you that stuff. Uh, a miscellaneous item so you can build it. Now I have a script attached to it that I wrote. I'm not going to go into scripting. 
Um, but ignore the ex scripting. If for some reason people want to know how I do this, um, maybe I'll do a tutorial and I'll show you how I wrote all this. Um, but that's not the point of the tutorial. So what we're going to do first is you're going to want to go to your assets folder of the, not SE. You don't want to go to Skyrim SE folder. You want to go to your Skyrim old LE folder where all the meshes are. You can use SE meshes, but you have to convert them. So I went down to load screen, found the mammoth. I already pulled them out, so we don't have to mess around with that. And here he is. We've got our mammoth. I really like the mammoths. I always wanted one, but I was really disappointed when I found out that it had no collision. You couldn't mess with them. You can't touch them. You can't do anything. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when you just add collision to it. And then I'm going to show you how and why it doesn't work after you add collision. And that's a part that's missing that I had to figure out. So there is no collision here. There should be a little thing that says uh, object collision, yada, yada, yada. You'll see when we're done. So close that up. And next, you're going to want to go into your file folder of where Skyrim is. I have a shortcut on my desktop and it goes into Steam apps, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to go back up and I made a test in my meshes to put the mammoth in. Now, you can change the name of whatever you want. I'm going to call them Wally the Mammoth. I don't know. Wally's usually a robot, but I guess he's a, a, a mammoth right now. So he's in there. That means now he's accessible in the game. I can go to first, let's go down to my static. I have stiff test static load screen mammoth there. As you see, I changed his name. It's no longer lined up. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put Wally the Mammoth. Here's Wally. I could have probably came up with a better name, but there's Wally. Okay, next I'm going to go to my miscellaneous object. Pick Wally the Mammoth. Finger, nice toenails. You know. I guess it's a I guess it's a mammoth. Anyways, so hit OK. Now the activator. Now there's a reason why I did it in these steps, and you'll see why. So I can place the static in the world for you to see of what I'm talking about. And this is actually driven off of my other mod. So there's Wally in my activator. So he's all ready to go. I got Test Mammoth, Miscellaneous, Crafting Bench. You don't need anything to craft them, no conditions. Okay. So that's ready to go. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you have no collision on an object in real time. I always center on cell to river wood or I, sometimes I get tired of river wood and I'll center on cell. I never go through um, when I'm testing. Uh, if you're new to modding, you should always use center on cell anywhere. A um, a what? What is it? Run over here. God, not at the forge. She's always there, but there's, there's my, there's my mammoth. 
I don't know why he's not showing up. Oh, I know why. Stupid. Here's another mistake modders don't make uh, make a lot. I, I didn't save it. You gotta save your ESP. So let's try it again. Like I said, you can skip through this. This is my first tutorial, so don't expect the just expect a couple of hiccups here and there. Okay. Let's try this again. Red plus pass the chicken. I what? must have done this thousand times. Now, my change every day to get business. Okay, here's Wally. See what happens if you don't save it. If it doesn't save your messages, you can't see the guy, or you can't see the mammoth. Wally the mammoth. So we create him. We now have a mammoth in our inventory. Okay. I put him here last time. I'm gonna put him somewhere else. So let's just put him right here. There he is. The awesome mammoth. I was so happy when I saw this. I was like so stoked that I was like this badass m modder. I was able to have my own mammoth. I could place him anywhere I wanted. And then I went up to try to climb up on him and I jumped through him. I'm like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. What the deeper? So, there's no collision. It sucks. I don't know why they do that. I guess it's because it's just a loading screen. But in the game, there is no statues. I think there is in, in uh, Hearthfire, but... So, we understand now that there's no collision. If it's a very big disappointment, well, we're going to take care of that. I'm going to leave him here. There's no reason. If you change the, the static in the game, it will change the static in your save. And so there's no reason to have to remake him. So, quit out of there. So, we're back on the desktop and um we already checked him out in if scope we know that he doesn't work so i'm gonna i'm gonna close some of these now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go over here you want to go to your assets oh actually no first first you're gonna want to look up where a barrel is just use a barrel. I've tried everything, but barrel zero one. Let's see where it's at. Under all. Oh, barrel. Zero two. I don't know where zero one is. Weird. Need barrel. There it is. Flutter. Barrel one. Dot nif. Okay. So I have all my assets on a separate hard drive. Remember, you're going to want to go into, try to go into the old rim, or you're going to have to uh, uh, optimize the meshes because uh, 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 what the other program won't work. I forgot the name of it. Hold on. Chunk merge won't work if you don't. So you want to come down to clutter. There's barrel zero one. Copy him. Actually, I can just pull him over here. Okay, we got we got our barrel. Let's open him up. Take a look at him. It's a barrel. Cool. Awesome. Nice barrel. So we have a couple of important things here. 
You have BSX flags, which we're going to get into later, but that's not what I'm focused on right now. We're focusing on the BHK collision object. Okay, this is what you need. Now, I already made a template, but you're going to want to make a new folder. Call it template, or you can call it whatever the hell you want. Template folder. And I have a little area that I keep all my tools in um, down here. It's, I just call it Skyrim creation. But here we have NIF optimization. Now you're going to want to go down on this link. Like I said, you're going to want to download this. I already downloaded it. I already, already unpacked it. It's, it's a real simple file and it can work anywhere on your hard drive. I just stuck it in here and I also went, open it again and I got NIF optimizer. NIF optimize, NIF optimizer. Now, just for the sake of purposes, I'm going to optimize the NIF anyways. There's really no point. I'm going to take a shortcut again. Do it. Test Mammoth. Optimize him to LE. Optimize. Okay, great. So he's optimized. All right. You're gonna you can change this to the this barrel name to template. Barrel. I actually just changed mine to template marker. I'm gonna put test because I already have it in there. And I'm gonna stick it in the folder. I'm going to go back to my optimizations and I this is what I named mine I said use a collision model template templates so these are my templates it's just objects they all do the same thing it took me a long time to realize this that it, it I didn't really I don't know why I mean there might be a modder out there that has more information, but all of these seem to work the same. As long as it has the collision objects in there. And I'll even look it up. This is what it, I have for the barrel. So you're going to want to do exactly what I did to this one. You're going to want to open up your barrel. Zero S fade node. The flags. You can leave the flags uh, if you want, um, but it's in. There's there's a reason that sometimes these flags don't work, and and that's going to be the second half of this tutorial of how to get anything to work. So, this has a, these F ES triad shapes. There's the shape. You're going to want to delete that. You want to go to block. You want to go to remove branch. And the important part is. You want to make sure that there's this BHK mop BV tree shape. And I'll show you why when you see it. And it's got compressed shape data. Um, this fade node, I'm not really sure. I never deleted it. 
I don't think it matters. Actually, I deleted it on my other one and it really didn't do anything. But if you hold your icon over it, it'll give you information. So I don't know if it's important, but you don't have to mess with it if you don't want to. This is just a rough, I'm not gonna save this. I already got it. All. So you know how to make a, a marker. You put it inside your folder. You can keep it all together in a little creation area. So now we're gonna make our collision. When you first open this up, I don't use any of this stuff. I don't, I've never used Blender yet, as of yet. I've I've never used any of this stuff. I get confused. I wish it just had Chunk Merge. I've seen people that have versions of Chunk Merge. And if you ha happen to watch this video and you know where I can just get the Chunk Merge without all this other stuff in there, that would be great. So you have a target file, you have a collision file, which is a template, which means basically it's the template of the object that takes the shape of the collision. And then you have the collision marker, which is the barrel. There's a list inside that folder I'll, and the collision marker. It's basically barrel 001 or barrel 01 without, with all the deleted trees. So, want to open it up. I want to go to Test Wally. I want to make sure it's Skyrim Special Edition Data Meshes Test Wally or Test Mammoth Wally the Mammoth. Open them up. Oh, and then you're going to want actually, I'm going to show you a quick trick. You're going to want to go to the folder. I have, I have a shortcut over here. So I'm basically going to where Wally is. The Steam Apps Common, the Test Mammoth folder, and my meshes. And you're wanna going to copy them, paste them, open them up. And you got your copy that you're going to be using for the for the basically the shape the shape of the mammoth all the all these things the try shapes now sometimes you need to delete things because this is a loading screen they didn't add a lot of the stuff that you need to delete a lot of people have told me that you know delete uh, uh, alpha properties and all these other things I've noticed that you do that and it takes away a lot. There's other tutorials out there. I think there's only like two other tutorials on the on this out there. So don't on this we really don't really need to do anything. We just need Wally the Mammoth copy. Uh there's no BS flags or I would tell you to delete that. So okay. We're gonna, and, and this is an important part. Now I'm gonna create it, but it's still not gonna work for a reason. And I'm gonna show you why after you have the collision. So you wanna pick your copy of the mammoth, your collision marker. You gotta make sure they're all, you gotta scroll down too. And this all green, or it'll tell you, they're usually the reason why if it doesn't work because you didn't um, optimize the, the meshes. You're just gonna wanna add collision. Collision data added successfully. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna put that down, put that down. I'm gonna jump back in Skyrim. I'm gonna show you what a big disappointment I had when I thought that I at Wally, I was going to be able to jump on Wally's back. So I'm like, yay, Wally's got collision. Wait a minute. No, he doesn't. Why doesn't he have collision? You sh 
should. No collision. I don't see no collision. Must have been something. So we'll we'll jump back out. We'll go back to Wally. You can get rid of the copy now. You don't need that. So we're gonna open up Wally. Close all these. Actually, I'm gonna leave them open. There's a reason why I'm gonna leave them open. You'll see right now. That was a little surprise. You aren't supposed to see it. Okay. So we have Wally. We pulled his tree. Now he has the collision objects. He has the tree connected to him. Should be able to work. There's. I don't understand why he's not working. And this is the part that was really hard to figure out. Why isn't he working? So I I done done some digging and I I noticed that I'll I'll go to another uh, NIF. Go to another NIF. Um, go to armor. All more. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go to one that's actually go into assets. Meshes, Dungeon, Nordic, I don't know, Flutter, this post, okay. So, you can run into this, it's got, it's, it has this, this is the part that's missing, the BSX flags. Now, each one's different. I think there's actually a view where you can see the details. I don't know, mine's been acting funny. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why it's not showing up. But it gives you a list. Oh, there we go. Okay. It gives you a list of all these little things. I haven't messed with them yet, but it says enable havoc B animated Skyrim. Bit one and enable collision. The skeleton question mark. Now I I could probably copy this and put him on Wally, um, but there's a problem. You, I, I've done it with other objects, and they don't. Um, Wally ends up being halfway in the ground or upside down, and all kinds of weird stuff happens. So you want to try to find an object that matches Wally, you know. And the best one that I could think of was uh the centurion i was like the dwemer is a statue you know i think he is just in clutter i know this is kind of a long um tutorial but i'm trying to get as much information out as i can um clutter I think he's down in steam. Here he is. So he's an E. I'm an S E asset. I would have made a mistake, uh, and then I, I would have had a crash on the um, the, the the chunk program. So I opened him up. I came to this the B S X flags. You want to copy branch. I'm going to keep him open just because I don't want to go looking for him again. Close that up. You want to close Wally back up and go to the zero, the BS fade node, paste branch. Now, so it drops it back down to here. I like to hold in control, control, then the arrow buttons up. And put it where it was. Now, I don't really think that that does anything other than reorganize the tree. And there's 
I've never noticed any difference. I don't think it does anything wrong. But we have the BS flags. It now en enables collision animated. And the thing is, is that he, I picked the Centurion because he's a statue too. And he, he reminded me of Wally. Same height, same everything. So I'm going to save him. Save as Wally the Mammoth. Yes, replace. Let's go back in Skyrim, see what happens. Hopefully my keyboard doesn't lock up. A lot of times the uh, Skyrim likes to... Oh shit, see, I got quick. I did, uh, I did a mistake right there. I got quick shortcuts to jump back in. Okay. Let's continue. And like I said, feel free if you haven't by now. Get to the part. Look okay. it. There he is. He's solid. Wally solid, finally. I was so happy when this ha when I was able to do anything I wanted with him. See if I could jump on his back. I can. I'm on Wally's back. I wanted to do this for years. Look at it. It's rad. Wally's fucking head. Oh, I mean beep. I mean, I, I can't edit that out. Wally has that, uh, havoc and collision and I can ride on his back, jump on it, scratch it if he's bitchy. Now he's my pal. He's actually a, you know. This part, he's a little bit floating, but that was actually there before. That has nothing to do with the flags or anything like that. But adding those flags, doing what you, I just showed you, will allow you to add havoc and collision to it's the easiest way it's the only way i've looked they have a control line that they're developing right now to be able to do it and i was so disappointed it's still in pre-production i was so disappointed to find out that it was still really primitive uh, you can attach scripts to him you can make him do whatever but now he has that you can take a dragon for instance you can find a dragon the loading screen you can give him collision but that's it guys uh, it took me a half hour to explain this uh, I was hoping to be able to do it underneath that time but there you go there's my tutorial um, I hope you found this enlightening and um, you'll be able to use it um, there's not very many out there and Please check out my mod uh, on Nexus. Uh, I go under LVX Magic. Just look up Campfire Unleashed Wildfires. I have I have like 16,000 items. Um, I got all kinds of mods on there. Um, give me some endorsements. If you like it, hit a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if you have any criticism, that's cool too. Just let me know. Um, I'll try to make these shorter as I go but like I said this is my very first one I might be doing more creation kit tutorials um, but uh, I wanted to share my knowledge and I'll let you guys go be safe especially during this time you know stay indoors mod do some mods <laughs>